Alright, so this is my uh, 86 AW11 MR2. Um, this is my personal car. Um, I got it a little while ago, uh, a few months back, and it had a blown blown 16 valve 4 AG original engine. It has 110K on the clock and uh, all original, original stereo, original engine, everything. This thing was mint, but it had a blown engine. Uh, I got the car really cheap. It's pretty pristine interior and exterior. Um, everything's here on the interior. It's the original seats in like perfect condition. Center console's all perfect. Um, door card. For a 1986, I mean the body is just like pretty pristine as well. Uh, it's a little dirty right now because it's been sitting out on the street. Um, but no real Things are dense. The only thing, there's a tiny bit of clear cut fade on the bumpers. Um, and then one little, little dent in the lip there. Uh, but this is the early one, so I'm gonna get one of the MK 1.5 uh, front lips and uh, cover that up. There's no battery in it right now, so this door is still locked on me. But all around super clean car. And uh, got it with a blown engine. Uh, in about a week, I did half a rebuild on the engine. The ring lands were all shot on the original pistons. Um, and we kind of figured out why that would be because we found this in the center console. Monthly class winner, 1988, for SCCA Autocross in the Las Vegas region. So we picked it up from the original owner, uh, had it since 1986, and raced it since 1986. <laughs> so uh, the engine was just tired. Um, so this is a revved, revved heavily for a good portion of its life. Um, but we did half a rebuild on it. Uh, did. Uh, a little bit of a head refresh and did pistons and rings and a hone. Uh, we ended up reusing the bearings because they looked okay. Shouldn't have done that. Um, so I got about 500 miles on the engine, changed the oil twice and uh, got, got going on a road trip and uh, ended up spinning a rod bearing. So that's what I, that's what I get for half-assing something which I don't normally do. So anyway, this is the car that's going to be getting the 4AG E20 valve and that turned into kind of a mess. I was hoping to make that kind of a quick turnaround and a quick swap into this car. Um, and the importer there, uh, JDM Engine Zone in Jersey, uh, kind of screwed that up for me so um, we're going from there so that's either going to be rebuilt or we're going to chance it and put it in there and hope it runs and might end up rebuilding it either way so we'll see what happens